This is Joseph von Belay from the University of Florida. You may have heard of him before. In 2021, this man went absolutely berserk over the 200 meter distance, winning the NCAA East Preliminaries in 19.94 seconds, he won the NCAA Championships in Eugene, Oregon in 19.91, and in the Olympic Finals in Tokyo, Japan, he placed fifth in one of the most competitive championship finals to ever take place, running another solid time of 19.98 seconds. 2021 was clearly a big deal for Fon Belay, as he was able to rise to the highest levels of the sprinting world and still maintain his competitive spirit against very stiff competition. But the crazy part is, he was only scratching the surface of his true potential, because as you can clearly see, his start needed some serious work, but over the second half of his races, he was somehow able to close with miraculous speeds, often hitting his second 100 meters in under 9.50 seconds. After a very long and testing 2021 season, Fonbele took some much needed time off from the track. But finally, we've had the opportunity to see this man compete in 2022, and already, he is setting the world on fire with his performances. On April 1st, Fonbele took a convincing win in the men's 200 at this year's Florida Relays, passing Matthew Bowling down the home stretch to win convincingly in 20.22 seconds. This was yet another amazing display of closing speed, and while the exact 100 meter splits from this race have not been posted, I would imagine his second 100 is around 9.50 seconds once again. This was another very solid performance, he just closes so fast over his second 100. But the very next day, Fambele ran another race that showcases beyond any doubt that 2022 will be a very special season for Fambele. In the men's 100 meter dash on April 2nd, he was set to run against many of the country's greatest sprinters, and even though he had won the 200 just one day previous, he got left in the blocks big time for this race, and he simply was not able to catch the field by the end of this 100. This was not the race that Fambele was looking for, as even his incredible closing speed could not make up the distance on the field. But there was actually a malfunction with the timing system for this race, so no official results were posted after this performance. This meant that the athletes had an opportunity to race this 100 meter distance again if they wanted to, and while many decided not to jump into the second 100, Fambele decided to give it another go, and this time, he would showcase unbelievable closing speed. Again, his start was not the best here, but just look at this second half. This man was on a mission. With a finishing time of 10.22 seconds, Fambele took this victory over a very talented field, and while a 10.22 doesn't seem like that big of a deal, this time just might signify extraordinary races to come in 2022. If we go back to last year's NCAA Championships, we can see Fambele running a 100 meter PB of 10.21 seconds, finishing near the back of the pack and still setting a new personal best. This time was achieved under ideal conditions. The competition was great, the wind was at his back, and given that this was near the end of his 2021 campaign, he was likely near the best shape of his season. Again, this 10.21 was not that impressive in comparison to many other athletes in the world, but here's something for you to think about. Just two days after this 10.21, Fambele threw down a 19.91 second 200, and he did this into a headwind, and this time would ultimately place him as one of the fastest half-lap athletes in the world for last season. Given that Fambele just threw down a 10.22 in the rain is a huge indicator that his start has unquestionably improved, he is well ahead of his fitness in comparison to last year's season, and it also showcases that right now, he could probably run a 200 well under 20 seconds. He just needs to find the right race and be ready on race day. It really is incredible to see this man close his final 30 or 40 meters in any race. It's almost like watching a video game or something. It just seems surreal to witness. Earlier this year, we posted a video about Fambele's potential over the 200 meter distance, and I asked you guys if you think he could approach the 19.80 second barrier this season. Most of you guys saw this time as achievable for 2022, as he was able to run a 19.91 last season, and he's already looking very fit in the early stages of this year's campaign. Also, here is one final thing for all of you guys to think about. 
He was the anchor leg in the men's 4x100 meter relay at this year's Texas Relays. And well, the Florida Gators have the fastest time in the world this season. And in large part, this is thanks to none other than Joseph Von Belay. And now I want to hear from all of you. How fast will Joseph Von Belay run in 2022? And will he break the 19.80 second barrier this season? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time. Oh.